And our first question. Pastor, I got a question for you. Now, me and my wife, you know, we had a little me end up on the couch for the last week. And so every night for the last week, I've been going to the door, but the door been locked. Now, I come across that she's been having a little moaning and groaning, and I hear vibrating noise going on. And my question to you is, what do I do about that, and how do I get back in that back room? Pass the time. <laughs> now, y'all supposed to be helping this man. Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Kyle, I'm gonna get it. Jesus. Don't turn to me, Doc. <laughs> you, 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 you the expert. You the guru. Help us. Okay. Now, okay, hold on. Let's see. He said that for the last couple. Him and his wife got to a spat, so she put him on the couch. All right. Okay. We we've heard that before. But he said now he went over to the door. And he heard moaning and groaning and the vibrating noise. Now, it sounds like to me that she's been to Sorella. That's the kind of booty. We gotta help this brother, somebody, anybody. Dr. Kyler, you know, you the guess we thought you were gonna be able to help us with this. But I'm saying it sounds like she's been to Sorella. And she's got something in there vibrating. And he's saying he don't know what to do. I know what to do. Apologize you know. for what you did so you can get back in the room. Yeah, and you better hurry up because can you compete with what's vibrating? Lord Jesus. When it's on a full battery. <laughs> okay. Um, Dr. Connor. Cause I, I mean, how fast can you move? The battery can go on a full battery. It can, I mean, it can get it. can get down in there. <laughs> no, Doctor it. Connor, I'm sorry. What, what advice do you have for this gentleman? I ain't got none, Doc. I just <laughs> put, put, put the, uh, put the anointing on the doorpost. <laughs> Anoint the door, <laughs> and maybe that'll stop the vibration. <laughs> oh my goodness. It sounds like she stopped when she has the release. How's your kids? How's your wife? It's a catch to this. I don't know. Okay. Well, some we we gotta help. So, sir, anoint the door. That's what Dr. Connor said. And um He said apologize. Apo yeah. Same. Dr. Pastor Saint said, apologize. So start there. You need to find your way back in that room. That's that's the thing here. Because you don't want her to get self sufficient. No. Nah. But she don't need you. That she don't need you. I think when she comes out, she's just, he's just having a dark conversation. Yeah. About whatever's going on with them. Yeah, absolutely. And so they can resolve their issue, and he can sleep in his bed. Yeah, cause <laughs> what I know is, if you stay out that room too long, what you can't do is compete with a Duracell battery, cause it's gonna keep going and going and going. I'll tell you that right now, hey, mate. So nice. get back in that room. Amen. All right, next question. Here we go. Oh, God. Ty, I got a question for you. I got my, got my baby brother, you know what I'm saying? Love him dearly, you know what I'm saying? But lately, you know what I'm saying? Every time I come around, this old lady was just thinking his trophy piece is wife. You know what I'm saying? She making me, you know, winking at me and giving me these all kinds of types of looks. Now, granted, like I said, she do look like me alone. And I do mean me alone. But my thing is... You know, go to the kitchen the other day to give me something to drink as we watching the game. And she rubbed, you know, her, 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 her twins on me, you know, her breasts. So, you know, then she propositioned me with, you know, some other kind of favors. Now, uh, this is my brother. Love him dearly. But my question is to you. My question to you is this. What do I do because I can't keep on holding up? I love my brother. But I think I love a little near long as well. Help me out, Pastor. Neil, oh. Okay. Is that what he said? That's what she looked like. He said. Oh, okay. I couldn't understand. Back that. away slowly and run uh, away real fast. Okay, let, let, let's just, okay, let's take this bit by bit. This is a lot to chew on. That's the top. Okay. I, I got a question for you, right? Got my, got my baby brother, you know? Okay, so it's his baby brother. All right. I'm saying love him dearly. So he love him. He loves his baby brother. All right. 
know what I'm saying? But lately, you know what I'm saying? Every time I come around, this old lady was just thinking his trophy piece is wife. You know what I'm saying? She making me, you know, making at me and giving me these all kinds of types of looks. Now, granted. Okay, so his wife, his trophy piece, whatever, is giving him all types of looks. All right. Like I said, she do look like Nia Long. Okay, so she looks like Nia Long. All right. And I do mean Nia Long. And he does he mean Nia Long. Nia Long. Okay. But my thing is, you know, I go to the kitchen the other day to give me something to drink as we watching the game. Okay, so they watching the game. He gets up to go get him a drink. Okay. And she rubbed, you know, her, 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 her twins on me, you know, her breast. Okay. <laughs> she rubs her breasts on him. Okay. So, you know, then she propositioned me with, you know, some other kind of favors. Okay. She propositioned him with some favors. She wanted to do some favors for him. Okay. Now, this is my brother. Love him dearly. This is his brother. We know he loves his brother now. My question is to you. My question to you is this. What do I do because I can't keep on holding up? I love my brother, but I think I love a little near long as well. Help me. Okay. Dr. Connor. Uh, different between like, lust, and love, and clearly he's in the lust uh, phase, but he got to do like Joseph in Genesis. Run. Uh -huh. Run. <laughs> Run. I don't care how good looking she is. First of all, this is your brother's wife. Let's be clear. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about you love your this is your baby brother, you love him. So why are we even why are you even asking this question? This is foolish. Why well, I mean he ain't Yeah, I mean I think I think we need to deal with the root of the issue, which is that you have no self control. Is she the first good looking woman that you've ever seen in your life? My thing is we walk around and we see good looking women all day, but we have self-control. I didn't say you were blind, but you mean to tell me that you, you don't know if you can handle If she propositions you, first of all, you need to make a decision with whether you need to talk to your brother about this or not. You need to make a decision whether you need to, first of all, you should have told her something right then and there. When she came at you rubbing her breasts on you or whatever else, you should have told her that was inappropriate and please don't come at you like that. Right. Sounds like to me that you're entertaining all of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, all the propositioning, uh, her touching you inappropriately. I think it, it's almost like you are uh, flattered. Craving the attention. And craving the attention. Yep. So I really don't think you need help. I think you know exactly what you need to do, and I think you just need to do the right thing, sir. Uh, and, and that's all we had to say about that. That's, yeah. Anybody else? Got, I, th I think that sums it up for me. Nah, that's good. Are you your brother's keeper? You need to go get the book. That's Come good. on, Dr. Connor, where can he get that book? He needs to <laughs> yeah, he needs it. He needs that for sure. You gotta be your brother's keeper. EddieConnor.com. E D D I E I E C O N N O R dot com. Come on. You gotta be your brother's keeper, not not your brother's betrayer. That's it. We'll be back. We got one more question today, y'all. Y'all keep it like right here. It's the best. Uh, I'm a man. No, I'm a wife out of town, so I decided to do the laundry. And I came across some panties. With a couple of stains in them. It was kids. What, what's going on? What's she doing? Blood stains and all. Yellow stains. I'm kind of nervous now. What, what's going on? Can you can you answer that question for me? It's radio. Why is everybody so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Connor, can you help him? I don't, I don't know, Doc. <laughs> You might want to take it to the hospital or something. <laughs> oh, did you walk in? <laughs> That's the same. What you got, man? Man, just do the laundry. <laughs> so don't be looking through just, her unmentionable. Just do the laundry. You, you know, she might have had a moment. You know, she might have had a moment where she was caught off guard. Just do the laundry. So she, you don't need to question her about the stains and the... No, that. I mean, if you're concerned about it, if there's some lingering effects behind it, then you go to the doctor and talk about it or ask questions about it. But just now, what are lingering effects? If lingering it, if effects. It, if it's not just on the on the on the on the garment, but it spews from the body. And so, where's the spew on that on the sheets? Is it spread? It could be. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm sorry. Where's where the spewing at? It, it, not not spewing, Ron Tyler. <laughs> she just has any 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 type of any type of issues coming from her body. Then you know, go to the doctor or clean it up or do something. But uh, <coughs> women have a lot of different things that go on with their body, so hey, you can't assume nothing. You just gotta just do the laundry, brother. Do the laundry. Jack, what you think? Um, that from a female perspective. I mean, something like that. I don't think you should put in laundry. You should go in the garbage. Like now, if, that is a really interesting perspective. So it's like if she knew that she had yeah, you what a kind of accident. I don't wash it and wear it again. Like nothing about that. Once so I, I mean, from a female perspective, is this something that does just happen? I mean, I guess you can get caught off guard if you're not prepared. But what did the yellow say? But I don't know about that. That sounds like some kind of funky. Yeah, I don't know about that part. I've never Yellow, that. green, that sounds like, like fungi or pus. What, what 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 would that be from a female? That perspective? means that you need to go to the doctor. Mm. Like, and check on yourself. But definitely don't put it in the wash, like garbage. You don't need to rewear that, even if it's clean. So what if they use bleach? It don't matter. I mean, underwear, it don't cost that much. <laughs> All right, Dr. Connor, do you think that's sufficient for this gentleman? That may be. That may be. This it depends on the, on and the you know, relationship. <laughs> and, and that's why they need to read your books. I mean, because I think that it could be a communication piece, because this is the thing. You know, she may have had an issue, but she already got her shot. She's been waiting on help. We're going to take a break. Y'all keep it locked right here.